heart to your own. Welcome to the horror room, everyone. I'm Travis Bruce, and I apologize for, the, for being missing for the last two days, but I was in YouTube and Facebook court getting manhandled by the smelly folks from I was referring to in the five things I hate about horror convention. So if you want to watch that one to see where the reference is coming from. Who I did not know there were so many of them out there. Who knew? All right. So today, the title of the video is... Who, who is Jordan Peele's audience? Like, who are his movies meant for? Who's watching Jordan Peele movies besides Get Out? First, let me just go into a little story. Uncle Travis is going to tell you guys a story. So I have a sales and marketing background, and I've been doing this for a month and a half. I've been mowing over this for years, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to follow you do it, and I'm loving it. It's amazing. But one of the things I do is we get into any business, this is one-on-one, textbooks, things. you got to identify who your target market is. Who's your target audience? Who's your target customer? You don't want to be shooting over here when you should be focusing right here. Okay, so when it comes to my channel, my business, I knew that it was going to be a high percentage of men, males. I, that's my, I feel like that was going to be my target audience. And I felt like I knew that there was a lot of women in the horror convention, and some of them might, or something. But males, right? You got to break it down to the next kind of category. I knew it was going to be horror fans, but the next category is males. All right. And I felt like the next core category, I would say, was probably majority white males, for whatever reason. Appreciate you guys. All right. So one cool, one cool thing is. Facebook, if you have a YouTube studio, it has, it actually gives you the breakdown. It tells you exactly who's watching your videos. It tells you their age, it tells you their gender, it tells you where they're watching it, they tell you how long they're watching it, all that good stuff, right? So, so the majority of, so 31% of age range is between 25 and 34 and then second place is 35 to 44 and then 18 to 24 so i felt like that's about right i gave myself between 18 and probably 44 45 spot on 67.9 are males spot on um i do and um 72 percent united states and the rest actually comes from UK and Germany. So, thanks guys. Had no idea. Okay, um, so, after it's born you with all that, who is Jordan Peele's movies for? I think the most logical thing you would say, when you would say you're horror fans. If you break it down to the next category, you probably say Blacks, African Americans. Right? Alright. So you gotta break it down to the next level. And then you gotta break it down to another level. You say men or or, or or women, right? Age range, all that good stuff. So I remember seeing the first get out in the movie theaters. And uh, I enjoyed it. I loved it. But if you did a poll right now, so you, if you're saying Jordan Peele's movies are for African Americans, do a poll. Just you got some black lady friends, you know, you know. Ask them how many of them have seen Get Out. I haven't met one, not even one. Not even one black woman has seen the movie Get Out, and and some of them have said because of the whole idea of black man and white woman, and for whatever you know, it is what it is. And so, so that eliminates black women. So there's there's only black men left. And I and listen, I'm one of the group that's seen Get Out. I enjoyed it. But then you skip over to movies like Us and Nope, and I'm gonna put Candyman to remake into the list, even though he was anyway, still his movie. All his movies make black men look like bumbling idiots, 
absolute dumb idiots, cowards, losers, moochers, need a woman to save us, uh, all that good stuff, right? Us definitely was the first movie I saw that and I was like, ooh, this is getting bad. You know what I mean? What, what was that? And it's definitely, white people are definitely not watching his movie. They can't be because he makes white people look like bumbling, bumbling idiots, the most evil people in the world, murderers and so forth. And, you know, I mean, just bad people are just dumb, you know? So I can't see white people like watching his, his movie. So who in the hell is watching Jordan Peele's movies? Ooh. You take all that aspect out, out of it. His movies are not, don't even make any damn sense. Get Out, for instance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through these quickly, okay? Get Out. Let's go to the first one, Get Out. All right. So, two things. Jordan Peele, is the statement in this movie, this is why I'm getting is three statements. White people are evil. Number two, black men shouldn't be dating white women because bad shit will happen. And number three is black people go missing all the, all the time and this and that. All right, so listen, here's my point. This is how I'm saying this makes no sense. So as a black director making that statement that black men shouldn't be dating white women, Jordan Pill is married to a white woman. I mean, how did that pitch go by? Hey, honey, I'm thinking about making my first horror movie. Oh, tell me the premise. It's pretty much, you know, telling black men not to date black, I mean, date white women. Makes no sense. Second thing about that movie, it makes, makes absolutely no sense. These are billionaire white pe people, men and women, right? And they're old, they're, they're sick, whatever. And they're going to spend millions of dollars, right, to get into his young body. And it's a black body? I don't think there's millionaire white people who want to be into a black body. I feel like the conversation would be, well, just find me some drug addict that's 20 years old and just put me in his body. I feel like, no, I don't feel like they're going to be paying millions of dollars to be in a black person's body to... To what? Makes absolutely no sense. Now, us, nope, and and what's we call it? Candyman. Once again, not for black people because black people do not even operate like any the, the, any of these characters in, in, in any of these movies, for the most part. Candyman, but um, <laughs> us. I mean. Just think about it. The, the husband is, is six foot seven, built like a tank. He's the big mountain king from the Panther, uh, Black Panther movie, right? And towards the last act in the movie, he's complained about his knee the whole entire movie as his wife and kids, two kids, are doing all the fighting, right? Fighting these monsters and so forth. And then the final act, his big, tall, muscular hairs looked in his wife's eyes and said, Honey, I'm going to stay in this ambulance <laughs> with the fucking kids, and you go down in that sewers and fight whatever is down there. No black woman is doing that. No woman, period, is on it. Like, might say, hey, we both go down there and the kids stay in the ambulance, but I'm going down there and you're staying with the kids? No. Like, nope. We own a farm, and an, an alien spaceship came by, killed off her, a fucking father, right, on a horse. And we are going to go ahead, and let's go ahead and keep this farm, even though somebody's offering us millions of dollars to take this farm off our hands. We're going to keep the farm. We're also going to interrogate 
and, and, and we're gonna fucking infuriate these fucking aliens and make them mad at us. And we're gonna go ahead and buy some fancy video equipment so we can and hire a white Frenchman to go and videotape. So we can get videotapes to sell the videotape. Why black people are doing that? Once again, who is this movie for? Candyman, the same thing. Got a black woman who is a road scholar, owns her own business, all these degrees and so forth. Got a nice big old penthouse, own her own business, all that stuff. Got a nice penthouse, condo, or whatever. And she's either dating, I don't know, she's dating, engaged, or married. Oh, I forgot. To a complete bum. He is a struggling artist who has no money. He's living in her place, living off of her. And every opportunity she hooks him up with, let's call it, he squanders it. He makes her look bad. He brings her down. And towards the end of the, uh, of the movie, she's saving him. She's going into there and finding some bees and shit and can't even. What black woman is doing that? None. Wait, what are we talking about? Once again, who the hell is this movie for? Please help me. All right, guys. Thank you for coming to the horror room. I'm as confused as I as before I started. Leave some comments. Um, also, hit that like and subscribe button. There's a notification bell right there, too. I post videos daily, except for this past weekend. Uh, but, yes. I hope you enjoyed this. I ho hope you tell me the answer, because I don't know. Thank you, guys.